the summer of 2021, we set out on our longest overland adventure yet. Our goal was to live out of our Patriot Campers X1H while traveling the Utah backcountry north into Wyoming to run a trail known as Monument Ridge. We were into the second week of our journey, having already passed through parts of both the Dixie and Fish Lake National Forests, and we're now entering the Manta LaSalle National Forest. Our original plan was to run the San Rafael Swell, but extreme temperatures on the desert floor forced us to divert into the mountains. goal today would be to reach the summit at 10,800 feet and head north on Skyline Drive. The path was clear and the slight touch of snow on the mountainside gave us confidence that we would be able to make our traverse without interruption. But this would be our first mistake in what would turn out to be a very trying day. for just a split second because we have come upon an obstacle, snow. It looks like right there, that's the only dirt to get through. Seems to be kind of soft on the mm -hmm. right hand side, but then there's snow and a slope on the left. Also soft. I know because I stepped in it. Yeah. I tested it out. So we should probably use some max tracks. I don't know. For extra stability? Mm, maybe.
think that looks wide enough for the track. I think we're gonna play in some snow. Look, they're my walking sticks. Obstacle number two, tree. I don't like the idea of going around, but it may be the only choice we have because I don't have a saw to cut that. Fartopotamus. <laughs> yep. If it's not one thing, it's another, right? It's an adventure. That's right. Okay. All right. We got this. Bring it on. Yep. That was like scratch and sniff nature. As soon as I went over that log, it was like, oh, the smells of nature. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little tippy there though, yeah? Uh-huh, a little bit. Yeah. I wasn't gonna talk about that part. <laughs> but that thing did awesome. Yeah. Yep, way to yep. go. All right, low center of gravity. Yeah, right. Yeah. Having made it past our first two obstacles, we reached the summit and were on our way up Skyline Drive but that would be short-lived. We stopped at an intersection so I could scout the trail on foot before committing. And it's a good thing we did. Well, the trail goes through that way. And I would beg to say that this is impassable. So we're gonna have to pick a different route. All right. All right, where are we gonna go? So it looks like we go down the descent. There's a way out over here. So maybe we go up a little ways and just make sure there's no snow here. 
Otherwise, we're going to have to backtrack our way out of here. Okay. So, which, you know, it's been an adventure. Indeed it has. <laughs> started down a possible alternate trail to the east, which if clear, would quickly drop us down about a thousand feet in elevation and hopefully get us beneath the snow zone. I think we're good. Ready? Yeah. I had walked down the trail, scouting past the first two switchbacks, and made the decision to commit. The trail was clear for the most part, with the exception of some very soft snow still covering the edge. of snow wasn't concerning and would easily be crushed under the weight of the Jeep and the trailer. rounded the second switch back with no issues and was now on a long, fairly straight section of trail, which would be as far as I had originally walked. But it was here where I should have walked just a little bit further. Alicia, knowing her own comfort level in this situation, decided to let me take the wheel. The snow didn't give. Instead of crushing it, the Jeep rode on top of it, causing an off-camber lean toward the downhill side. decided to inch ahead. Everything looked good until the back end of the Jeep started to slide.
It was at this point that I knew we really had a problem. I wasn't sure if using the max tracks would help by spreading out the weight or hinder by creating another surface that could slide. So, in the snap judgment, I went for the entrenching tool that I had stashed behind the back seat to hopefully dig out enough snow to lower the passenger side and shift the weight back toward the center of the rig. Once I had what I thought was enough snow removed from in front of the tires, I positioned myself at the back corner of the trailer so I could get a close-up view of the Jeep, trailer, and the surface of the trail. And while the Jeep stabilized as we moved forward, the camper caught a groove in the snow and started shifting out even further. I want off this playground. <laughs> Done. A little bit more than what we thought. Uh huh. Yeah, we're doing all right though. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Guardian angels are working way overtime. Yeah. Yep. yep. Been in close communication with the Lord. <laughs> <sighs> uh, we did it so far. Just a little bit more to go.
Needless to say, few words were spoken the rest of the way down the mountain as we drove toward the Forced Service campground at Farron Reservoir that we opted to stay at. So I'm looking at our rig, and it looks as filthy and done as I feel. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, it's like we splatter painted with mud. Everything's so clean. It was a little thick with some mud there. Our baby needs a wash. It's the thickest we've had it. But I am glad um, that you turned the yeah the, the nozzles out things that way. Yeah, it means it was a fun adventurous day, right? Yes, it was. All right, go team. <laughs> go team. It was kind of a slow and dirty morning. Hannah, who normally sleeps at the foot of our bed, had an accident and would no longer be allowed in the bed. And Julesy decided that smashing grapes was a fun new way to play. I think we all needed a bit of decompression. So we took a short walk to the reservoir to give the mattress time to dry after cleaning it.
And since time doesn't stop, we had to pack up and keep moving up the mountain. Mama, are you done? Yep, I'm done. That's it for this one. For extended versions of this episode, bonus content, and more, subscribe to our channel over at Six Overland. It's something small you can do to help us out. Thanks for watching. Our journey has just begun.